Hey, people of the interwebs, it is Q with another scuba diving adventure. It's 20 past seven. It is also 22 degrees. Now, that's very unusual for this time of year. We're having a bit of a, a crazy winter. Um, apparently today it's, it's going to get up to 28 degrees. So it's about eight degrees above the average for this time of the year. I did check out the water conditions yesterday while I was down at the coast doing some jobs and the water does look absolutely fantastic. I'm hoping for around about the 10 meter mark today and pretty much every dive site that we can use uh, is available to us. And I guess we'll find out which dive site we're going to choose when we get to the coast. After a quick coast run to check out the dive sites, the wind was the major deciding factor in our final choice. We've come back to Kings Beach boat ramp because these are offering the calmest can surface conditions. So an easy entry and exit and a very gentle surface swim. On today's dive there were a total of four divers and on the surface we noticed that Lynn's high pressure console hose had a slight leak but we weren't too concerned about it because it was really going to be a very shallow dive and she could quite easily make the surface in an emergency situation. As we dropped into the water the visibility was a fabulous 10 meters which is 33 feet. One of the first things I noticed that was missing on this dive was our usual fishy friends the goatfish probably having a day off but of course we were joined by this school of other fish with a little black dot and a yellow tail. I'm not sure what species they are so if somebody knows please let me know in the comment section. One of the first things spotted was this little starfish. It was so small and so cute and it didn't look real. It looked like a piece of plastic. Starfish uh, typically have five arms. They can have seven or even up to 18 or more arms. They can actually regrow damaged parts or arms that have dropped off because part of their defense mechanism is actually to drop an arm if uh, they're getting attacked by something. Whilst doing our usual checking under the ledges to see what interesting things were hiding away, Dive Lead pointed out to me there was something good to see. So I headed down and he shone his torch inside and all I could see was a cowrie shell and a crab. But what I couldn't see because of its perfect camouflage was the cuttlefish. It's right there on the right hand edge of the screen. I came across this catfish which had been attacked by something. A huge chunk had been bitten out of its side and this poor fella wasn't going to make it through the day and would be somebody else's dinner by the time nightfall came around. Another nice discovery was this school of juvenile striped eel catfish. Now these guys are uh, usually quite defensive. Uh, if you get too close and provoke them, they will have a go at you. And you've got to be quite careful of them because they do have a highly venomous spine. This sea apple is a uh, type of sea cucumber and uh, like most sea cucumbers their defense tactic is to projectile vomit their entrails from both ends or they will release a toxin into the water to get rid of predators. Not something you want in your marine aquarium I would guess. Quite a few beautiful looking nudibracs on this dive. Unfortunately the GoPro camera is not really designed for close up stuff especially when they're really small like these nudibracs. This guy was the star of the dive. He is a porcupine fish. It was about the size of a rugby ball and it got a little bit aggressive with me poking a camera in its face. But they're just so cute with those big eyes. It takes quite a lot of provocation to get these porcupine fish to suck in huge amounts of seawater which can double, triple or quadruple their body size. This is to stop predators swallowing them and then of course once they are blown up like a big balloon those spines actually stick out and make it very difficult for anyone to eat them.
As we turned around and headed back home, I noticed these rocks piled up in an unusual fashion. And generally, I like to take a look in there because sometimes it's the front door of an octopus house but nothing to see at this particular time. At the end of 65 minutes, we hit our exit point perfectly. Maximum depth on this dive was 5.1 meters, which is 17 feet. The water was a very nice 20 degrees centigrade or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've enjoyed today's scuba diving adventure with Q, please leave a like and subscribe to see more. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. As soon as I see them, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.